do a quick video right here. It seems like I'm tired, I am, because it's four o'clock in the morning. But anyway, this cooker right here, I built this cooker to donate to my men's group at uh, New, Beginning, New Beginning Family Worship Center. We're going to uh, have a men's retreat this morning. We're going to cook. I got a bunch of brisket I'm going to cook, and we've got guest speakers and everything. Kind of draw tickets on this and let somebody have this nice cooker. Zoom it up, come on in a little bit closer, Sharon. But anyway, this is a 24 by 42 cabinet model. This cooker right here. I did make this cooker out of a decommissioned propane tank. Uh, so it has a head on the end, you know, been sandblasted inside and out. This uh, right here is our cabinet door style cooker, as everyone can see. We got two slide out grates right here. Slide out. This is a great, really a great size cooker. Really, really a great size cooker. I mean, really convenient, holds a lot of meat for its size uh, and everything. So, uh, so those are tight right now. Anyway, to have this tag cut out right here, it says Band of Brothers. That's who this is for. Band says Band of Brothers, New Beginnings, uh, you know, ministry and stuff. But got your quarter inch firebox right here. Wow, I'm glad I opened it up because I would have I sent it off without the fire basket in it this morning. But, uh, Anyway, friends coming to get it. He's gonna carry it up to Cornerstone Retreat. Now I'm gonna hook up to my cooker and uh, actually Big Red's cooker, a friend of mine, and uh, go up and cook a bunch of brisket. And like I said, we got guest speakers coming this evening and tonight. So I think hopefully we're looking for about 60 people to come. Uh, but anyway, we haven't been doing a bunch of videos lately. We've been very busy. Uh, maybe we'll try to do you know a few more now and everything, but. Uh, Again, we have a pretty big backlog right now. Tyler's, Tyler's got a big one. Mine's in the, you know, in October, in October sometime. But anyway, <clears throat> you can give us a call at 205-799-0251. That's Tyler's number again. He's not going to answer the phone during the day when he's working. Uh, you can try me at 205-310-9160. Uh, I'm always checking voicemails and I'll return your calls.